The family of a missing Largo attorney is now suing the man accused of killing him. A newly filed 13 page lawsuit claims the company who owns and manages the building where Stephen Kazi worked as an attorney did not do enough to protect him. And as ABC Action News reporter Julie Salomone learns, a suspicious incident was reported to police just days leading up to his death. In March, Largo attorney Stephen Kazi went to work at Blanchard Law in Largo and never returned to his desk. Investigators discovered blood and a strong smell of cleaning products in the men's bathroom. Police arrested Dr. Tomas Kozowski for first-degree murder. The victim and suspect were tied together in a civil lawsuit. Kazi's family is suing Kozowski and M.H. Belcher Property, LLC, the company that owned and managed the property where Kazi worked. Attorney Stephen Barnes is representing Kazi's family. Crimes like this are crimes of opportunity, and whether you own a home, whether you own a business, whether you own a restaurant, um, you can't provide opportunities for people to come onto your property and do things like this. The 13-page lawsuit filed this week in Pinellas County claims the property owners were negligent and the suspect used an unlocked utility closet to store supplies used in the murder. In the days leading up to Kazi's murder, an employee at a nearby vet clinic reported to Largo police about a suspicious incident where a male was hiding in a utility closet. The lawsuit states the property owners failed to correct the condition or notify any of the tenants, including Kazi. We believe, based on what we've learned, he was scoping out the property, looking for opportunities, figuring out how he was going to do this. What he was able to discover is that a few feet away from the men's room where this occurred, there was an empty utility closet um, that actually was unsecured and unlocked. Investigators have not located Kazi's body, but believe it ended up in a Collier County landfill. You maintain your property, you put a simple lock on that door, you remove an opportunity for this to take place. And unfortunately, we think that room played a large part in what occurred that day. I reached out to the defendants listed in the lawsuit, including an attorney for Kozowski, but have not heard back yet. Julie Salomon, ABC Action News.